Hello, I am the narrator. Before this episode begins, Dr. Winchelman will be talking about a very large creature that you might just be happy is extinct. Without further ado, let the show begin. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Von Schneerman, and today we're going to be learning about Smilodon Fatalis. The name? And what does it look like? The Smilodon Fatalis is what we're going to be looking at today. This cat is also known as a saber tooth tiger. Um, a little fun fact about the name is that Fatalis, the word Fatalist, means, um, to cause death or deadly. If you take a look up here, you can see that the Smilodon has a very iconic saber tooth look to it. I mean, you got those like classic gigantic fangs that stick out of the mouth. Um, you got that ti um, large cat look to it with the short tail and the big feet. Um, Another thing is that apparently Smilodon is larger than the Siberian tigers and lions that we have today. When the animal died and how it died. It lives in the Pleistocene time period. Where it lives, what it eats, and what is its predators. Okay, let's just point out the obvious. The saber-toothed tigers are carnivores, so they hunt only animals. And you can tell this just by the teeth and the gigantic fat uh, fang. You don't use those for plants. <laughs> but judging by this, you could probably say that they, they would use those gigantic fangs or canines to target the neck or belly of a large yet slow prey. Kind of like, I don't know, rhinos, elephants, maybe even a hippo. <laughs> um, which is kind of like the same thing that lions do in our time period, is attack large yet slow prey. Kind of like rhinos. Um, let's see. Fun facts about this animal. And did it affect people? These saber-toothed tigers are apparently in these cat family called uh, mm, micro micronation. Sorry, I almost forgot it. Micronation, which is of course an extinct family, but basically it was like a family of felines or cats that have abnormally long fangs or canines. What's it mostly related to? Is there any sounds or video of the animal? So there is another subspecies in the Smilodon family, which is called Homotherium serum. Um, <laughs> and now it's kind of towards the end of the video. So in the description, there are in fact two different videos. One, uh, like, three minutes worth of <laughs> Smilodon noises. And another one, which is basically like a clip as if they were in the wild or what they would have looked like and, you know, how they interact with things. So, yeah. And that wraps it up to the end of the video. So, if you are fascinated by the Smilodon... There are links in the description that go more in detail about all the information we found about it. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Good night. Okay, so there seems to be like some kind of pattern going on here where like one video there are no bloopers and then the next video there are a lot of bloopers. This one has quite a few bloopers. So, enjoy. Let me just tell you, I think I just found my favorite word. Smilodon. <laughs> okay, so Smilodon Fatalis is what we're going to be looking at today. A little fun fact. Er. Hey, you're funny. You're skipping ahead. Ooh, okay. Mm, good job acting. 
Wow, that was so intelligent. Spicy. Machination. Machination. Macadamia nuts. Okay. So there is in fact another um, subspecies to the homo- sorry. Reel it in. I can act. Watch this. This is the end of the video. End of the video. End of the video. Pew pew. End of the video. End of the video. Do this is the end of the video. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. End of the video. End of the video. End of the video. Oh oh.